Hi, my name is Jamie Excel, and this video series is about how you can get into your slides. In this video, I will give a general system overview. Probably the most important component of our system will be your slides, right? And on top of that, we're going to have our camera view that's showing you. Uh, and what we would like to do is we would like to combine these two images together in some compositing software that forms this image, that, that the target image that we would like. And we'll output this this composited image as a virtual webcam. This virtual webcam acts very much like a physical webcam, and you can use it inside your favorite video conferencing software, whatever it is that you would like to use. And if your video conferencing software supports it, you can output this into your favorite streaming service, so you can stream it online live. But what I prefer to do is instead of using this, I prefer streaming directly from the compositing software because the compositing software that I'm using is actually a streaming software. More specifically, I'm using OBS, the Open Broadcaster software for this. For your video conference, you could use Zoom. Zoom seems to be popular these days, but you could use something else as well. For streaming service, you could use YouTube or Twitch, whatever it is that you prefer. Uh, so what the stuff that I'm going to talk about is going to be completely independent of the particular video conferencing software you prefer to use or the streaming service you prefer to use. So I'm not really going to talk about these components at all. Uh, so this gives you the general picture of how video is handled in the setup. We also need to think about audio. Right? So if your camera has a microphone, OBS can capture the, the audio from that microphone as well. Or if you have a separate microphone somewhere, the OBS can capture that as well. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And if OBS can capture that audio, it can also stream that audio to your streaming service. Right? Also, it can send that audio to your virtual webcam, and your video conferencing software can get that audio from your from your virtual webcam. Now, you probably you would probably like to capture the audio from your video conferencing software and stream it uh, live. If you want to do that, uh, one way to do that would be to send it to OBS, so OBS can get that audio and then stream it. Or probably you have some speaker set up so you can actually hear what's going on in your video conference, and your mic is likely going to pick up that audio. So you may not need to worry about that at all. Another thing is that for your microphone audio, you can send it like this to OBS and then to a virtual webcam and then to your video conferencing software. Or just like sending that, that audio from your microphone to OBS, you can send it at the same time to your video conferencing software without using the virtual webcam. These are options. But I prefer to send it through the virtual webcam because it gives me a bit more options to control the audio. Uh, another thing to think about is recording your, your video streams. Probably your streaming service will allow you to, to record that, so that, that would be good. But if you want, you can, instead of streaming directly, you can just record into your uh, local storage from, from OBS or your local hard drive if you want to. And when you're ready, you can just upload it to your streaming service. Um, actually, this is exactly how I'm recording these videos uh, right now. I'm recording them to my local hard drive, and then at some point, I'm going to upload them. And in fact, I'm not using a video conference at the moment, so this part of the setup is not being used at all, so this, this part does not really exist. But when you have a video conference, of course, you're going to have to have this component as well. Um, now, an option here is that you can also stream or you can record uh, your video conference from your video conferencing software, if your video conferencing software supports that, either to your local hard drive or some cl cloud storage. Um, but the caveat here is that um, when you do this, your audience members, other people in your video conference, may get recorded as well. Now, this may or may not be something that you would like to have. And if you don't want to have that, you can directly record from OBS, uh, so you can uh, prevent people from people in your video conference to be recorded. Um, but in some cases, you may want to record some video from your video conference, and if you want to have full control over that, you can just send that video to OBS and and you know capture that uh, that window from OBS and place it wherever you like in your uh, in your final image, and and record it this way, right? Um, another thing to think about 
is that uh, the audio coming out of your video conference, uh, if you don't want that to appear in your recording, you can prevent that just by using earbuds. So your microphone will not pick up the audio, right? But if you would like to pick up, if you would like to record that audio, you can just uh, you know, let your microphone pick up that audio, then that would be fine. What I prefer to do is I prefer to, instead of recording this, um, this video directly to the local storage, I oftentimes prefer to stream it live uh, because this gives the, the audience the option of either following your talk inside this video conferencing software or using the, the streaming service. Um, I find the streaming service to be a bit more reliable in terms of video quality. Uh, so I would like to give my audience the option to follow the talk or lecture in using the, uh, the video streaming service. So this is the general system overview. I hope you found it useful and it helps you get into your slides.